Hi, this is Charlie Zeese with Only PVC Pyramids. Uh, this video today is a follow-up to a recent interview I did with Michael Hoynes from Australia. Michael uh, used uh, the 76.345 degree pyramid geometry in that video to make Ormus or monoatomic gold. And in our discussions, uh, Michael attempted to use uh, an app that uh, is available on uh, the, the internet uh, called MB Ruler uh, to measure the slant angle of uh, a hieroglyph that he uh, used as the source of his inspiration. And that hieroglyph comes from the Temple of Karnak in Egypt. And although we were unable to do it on that original video, I want to replicate that for you now and show you that the slant angle uh, of the pyramid that's shown in that hieroglyph matches within the margin of error precisely the 76.345 degree angle, slant angle, uh, that we've determined to be uh, the slant angle for the Russian pyramids. And as Marshall Lefferts has shown, uh, the corresponding 27.309 degree apex angle of that same pyramid as the phi scaling angle found throughout nature and uh, is part of the new research that came out in Marshall's new book, uh, Cosmometry, the Holofractal Nature of the Universe. So what I'm gonna do, uh, we'll be back in a minute, I'm gonna set up the uh, demonstration and then we're gonna show you that this angle uh, is precisely that that we had previously determined to be the angle for the Russian pyramid. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, up on the screen now is a, uh, a, a depiction of the hieroglyph that's coming from the Temple of Karnak. Uh, I have colored it uh, to some degree because I found that uh, it helped a little bit with uh, uh, the, the fine detail work that we're gonna be doing in the next section. But this again can be found by going on um, Google or Bing Images and uh, uh, just doing a search for uh, Temple of Karnak hieroglyphs, and uh, you'll find that. Uh, next, we're going to be zooming in to do the exact uh, precise uh, calculations of the angle with MB Ruler. Be back in a moment. Well, as you can see, uh, now what I've done, I've pulled up MB Ruler, and I have placed the uh, uh, the center of the protractor uh, at the uh, bottom left-hand base of the pyramid itself. And then I have taken the, uh, the cursor and moved it and made a line uh, which is, is on the edge of the um, left side of the pyramid. And as you can see, the angle that we're coming up with uh, is 76.36 degrees. Now, that is as close as we can get it, given the pixelation of the picture and uh, the limitations, I'm sure, of this, of this uh, uh, ruler to, uh, to, to be more precise. Uh, however, uh, this is, uh, as it's showing, clearly demonstrates that this angle is exactly that that we found in the phi scaling angle that Marshall Lefferts' uh, new book uh, uh, brings out uh, in, in his cosmometry, the holofractal nature of the universe, as well as matching the phi scaling angle that uh, I determined uh, through my calculations to be the uh, geometry of the Russian uh, geometry pyramid. So uh, this is, I think, a groundbreaking piece of information. Uh, I, for one, had thought for a long time, that the Russians had had uh, potentially figured this uh, pure out purely uh, from their torsion physics research, but as we now see, uh, this geometry has been around for millennia, and it may in fact have been that uh, an alternative theory should be considered that perhaps the Russians uh, got this information, at least in part as well from these very Egyptian hieroglyphs that we're looking at right now. So this is clearly something for, uh, for greater discussion. Uh, I look forward to um, 
getting feedback from people from a variety of sources. I think I'm going to be sending this information on to, uh, to Marshall and also to uh, some folks uh, who may be able to help me uh, to, to figure this out in greater detail. But I thought this was uh, definitely worth uh, showing the world. I think this is a major uh, breakthrough in our uh, search for uh, the geometry of the Russian pyramids and their relationship uh, now to the Egyptian pyramids uh, and the phi scaling angle. Thank you for listening and you have a great day.